Greetings. This is a 64 gigabyte micro SD card that a colleague of mine purchased from eBay. Now there are plenty of sellers on memory cards on eBay and many of them will be selling legitimate cards. Let's see if this is one of them. Here's the listing proclaiming that it's a 64 gigabyte card, class 10, so I should be able to write to it at at least 10 megabytes per second. However, there's some interesting stuff towards the end of the listing. It claims that these memory cards are upgraded cards, therefore storage can vary, speed may also vary. Sorry, but that's just rubbish. You can't just upgrade an SD card. So what do they mean? Let's do some testing. There's a free and very useful test program available for download called H2 Test W. The website's in German, but unlike a lot of download sites these days, the download link is easy to spot. Once you've downloaded the zip file, opened it, and dragged H2TestW to your desktop, you can run it, change the language from German to English, and select the location you wish to test. Once you've selected the location of the SD card, just click the Write and Verify button and let it do its thing. The card being tested first is a 4 gig card that is apparently made by SanDisk. What it's doing now is writing a series of test files to the card, and once it's finished, it then reads them back and checks they're not corrupted. All written, all read back, all looks good, and you can see the write and read speeds at the top. The card being filled to the brim with these large test files, you can either use them to verify again, for example on another machine, to see if the speed differs on that, or you can just delete them or just reformat the card. Now let's take a look at the 64 gig eBay special. It's gone in the same card slot, so I'll just click refresh so the program knows the card size, and then click write and verify again. It's come up with the warning message this time, either because the card's got stuff on it, or it's formatted as NTFS or XFAT, which is the case here. So just click OK and off it goes again. Two and a half hours later, it's written 64 gig to the card and it started reading back fine. As you can see, the write speed is well below class 10, though that's more like a class 6. Anyway, watch what happens once it gets to around the 4 gig mark. Oh, look at that. Corrupted data. Lots of it. In fact, 60 gigs of it. There's a copy to clipboard button you can press to capture the test results. Useful if you need to raise a dispute on eBay. In this case, it's a 64 gig card with only 4 gig of space on it. So, pretty good grounds for a dispute, I reckon. Now, one thing I've learned from YouTube is that you can show people rock-solid evidence and they still don't believe you. So here's another test. I know the card can hold 4 gigs, so I'll copy nearly 6 gigs of video across to the card and see what happens. Interestingly, all the thumbnails appear correct, because the hidden file containing all the thumbnails was one of the first things written to the card, and due to the way the space is allocated on the card, it's still got room for all the thumbnails. Presumably the thumbnails themselves were copied from the, the hidden file in the source location. And if I try to play some of the earlier files, they run fine. If I try to play one of the files that was copied on last of all, mind, remember I've copied more than 4 gigs of data onto this card, you can see that Windows Media Player won't play them. In fact, it's crashed, because if I try to play again, it does nothing, and I've got to press Ctrl Alt Delete to end the player before it'll work again. And just to prove it's not the originals that are unplayable, I've renamed one of the files and brought another copy across. As you can see, the renamed file still plays. But the second copy won't run. Just to compare, 
Here are the test results from a genuine Class 10 card, in this case a Max RAM 32GB card. As you can see the write speed is double that of the fake Class 10 card and of course the cards passed with flying colours. Now coming back briefly to the eBay description again. The seller advises that before using the memory card you should format it. This will remove all the bad sectors on the microSD card. Well here's the results of a format. And here's the result of a check disk. As you can see Windows can't find the fault on the card. It only manifests itself when you save more than 4 gig of files on there and then try to read them all back. I'd already formatted the card before testing so basically the sellers are lying through their teeth. So what can you do? Well if you bought the card a while back you may be out of luck. You can try complaining to the seller anyway. They may tell you to get lost in which case there's not a lot you can do except maybe grass them up to trading standards. But if it's a recent eBay purchase you can raise a dispute with eBay and ask for a refund. Finally, you can warn off the trader by leaving an appropriate feedback rating. Hopefully this will encourage sellers to test a sample of their cards before advertising them and encourage other buyers to test the cards they purchased before they head off on holiday. Hope you find this useful. There's a link to H2TestW in the video description. If you have any memory cards, be they USB, SD, memory stick or whatever, it may be well worth testing them. Thank you very much for watching.